Lori. And Danielle. And we're from Simply Plant Food. <laughs> I lost my key on that one. Uh, yes, if it's, this is your first time on our channel, we are about eating simply plants, right? We don't eat any animals or any animal byproducts or anything like that. So, um, And today we are doing a fall recipe because it's fall, right? Got the fall t-shirt or sweatshirts going on. <laughs> Anyway, um, so this is a special uh, YouTube uh, that we're doing today because it's we're collaborating with five other YouTubers, and uh, we'll you'll see the then you'll have the I'll put it around us all around us. You'll and see then it. The links will be down below in the yeah. description, and you can watch their fall recipe videos yeah. as well. And there's some really good ones. There's some breakfast ones, some lunch ones, and there's some really nice desserts. So, so check them out. They're uh, they're really awesome YouTubers and. Uh, they have uh, some really good experience in the kitchen, so check them out. So we've got Team Broccoli, which is a pumpkin spice French toast uh, video. We have Vegan Wife Life, which is doing a chili. We have, I apologize if they say this wrong, Giraudy Family, which will be doing cauliflower steaks. Veg Inspired, No Bake Pumpkin Pie, Plant-Based Explorers, which will be Crock-Pot Applesauce, and Soul in the Raw, which is a butternut squash soup. Because Danielle and I are, you know, we both work full-time, and we're just kind of doing this to show you that, you know, you can do this lifestyle, right? And both of us, by the way, are, both of our mates, our partners, are not vegan, so, and we're still doing it, so, and it's been, well, how long has it been they for you? They love us. Yeah, they love us, and we love them. Yeah. <laughs> you got to make it work, right? But anyway, how long has it been for you, Danielle? Just over a year. Yeah, and it's been, I don't know how many years for me, a couple, three? Yeah, and then vegetarian before that, so. So anyway, so our recipe today is called uh, Chick on Pumpkin Wrap, but it's actually roasted pumpkin. We're gonna do roasted pumpkin. So the um, t in order to make the chick on, we need to have, what is it called? Tofu. <laughs> you see it? If this is your, if you've never tried tofu before, uh, you gotta try it. And sometimes it takes a couple times, right, Danielle? I didn't like it at first, so. Yeah, so don't worry. Like it's uh, just, it's the spices, right? And same with when you used to eat meat, it's always the, the vegetable and all the spices that you put on it that makes the meat taste better, right? So, uh, yeah, so we're gonna start. Okay, so we're gonna start with tofu. And what's really important here is that you get the non-GMO one, right? Because you want the you don't want the genetically modified tofu, and that's usually what they use for animal feed. And so try to find the one that's either organic, but at least this one's. I don't know if it's or, it's not organic, but it's it's non-GMO. So that's a good thing. Um, we're using the extra firm tofu, so it's that's the the one you have to get. Now normally you'd have to, like if this is your first time using tofu, it's, it would be lots of water in there. Don't panic about that, just dump it in the sink. Yeah. Um, so Danielle's going to cut it in long strips because we want it to fit in a wrap, right? So she's going to cut it into the long strips down there. And then basically all you do is just marinate it in whatever uh, you like, right? And we're, gonna, we're actually going to just do two simple things and it tastes really good. Phenomenal. Um, what I want to say was tofu is really, really good for you. Um, if, if you want to check out Dr. Gregor, uh, nutritionfacts.org, and watch some uh, videos on his uh, take on the tofu, but it's not really even his take, it's science, right? He always presents the science to us, science to us right? And he always upstate, upstate us on the science of it. So check it out if you're, because a lot of there's a lot of um, stuff out there about tofu that's it's bad for you and blah blah blah. So um, check out the science. All right, so Danielle's nicely cut up all the tofu into long strips. So uh, another uh, thing that I use quite often is it's called Bragg's. It's liquid soy sauce. But the nice thing about the Bragg's is it's really low in salt, right, compared to actually soy sauce, right? So just I. You know, just sprinkle it on so you just kind of get it wet. The and tofu is like a sponge, so it'll yeah, absorb it'll a lot. Absorb it, it'll absorb everything in here. So I'm just going to put a little bit on there. And then um, I really like Pepper Tree Spice Company. And if you're in the Ontario, southern Ontario area, you can get it here. 
And this one's called a Sensational 16 Spice Blend, and it's just amazing. And there's no salt in it, right? So basically this is a really low sodium, but it tastes really good, doesn't it, Daniel? So then we're going to sprinkle that on, and then we're just going to let this tofu um, marinate marinate for how long? Well, probably about 20 minutes. 20, 30 minutes, because we got the pumpkin's got to sit in the oven for... for uh, so we're going to put a lid on this and shake it up, and then just let it marinate. Now... Quite often, if I know that I'm going to do this recipe, I marinate the night before and then it really soaks it in. But if you're crunched on time, it'll still taste really good, just like this. Okay, so this is the fun part. <laughs> She's now doing it. I know. You could be really lazy and buy the pumpkin, right? But uh, this is going to be a roasted pumpkin. And probably in the States, you could probably get roasted pumpkin, but I don't think you can here, so... But whatever. So it, I mean, it does make a difference, doesn't it, Danielle? She found it yeah. was really, really good. Like, she, ha she tried the wraps. We made the wraps before and they're really good. And she said the pumpkin just kind of just that little bit of spice. So anyway, we're gonna cut it in wedges. It's just like cutting a regular pumpkin. I cut the top. Well, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Danielle's nice aren't very sharp. <laughs> okay, let's try it this way. Alright, here we go. And besides, when you when you do it this way, you get pumpkin seeds. Don't throw them out. Free workout. <laughs> yeah, I know. But these are great. Pumpkin seeds are so good for you. Especially for your guy friends or your guy partners or whatever. Pumpkin seeds are really good. Wedges. Probably about that thick. That's good. Whoops. Okay, so it's all cut up, and the one thing I forgot to mention is that the pumpkin has to be like a, a cooking pumpkin, right? You know, not just like your carving pumpkin. There's yeah. different kinds, right? So if I'm just talking to you like if you never know, like if you've never done this before. So anyway, so uh, we're going to put it put it on the parchment paper. Parchment paper is lifesavers. <laughs> anyway, we're going to throw it on there. And then we're going to spray a little bit of cooking oil. And then we're going to just put a little... little um, sprinkle of curry on it. You can put whatever spice you want with it, but we all like curry in this house. So we're trying to stay oil, salt, and uh, what's the other one? Oil, salt, and sugar. Sugar, sort of, Clearly, like light, light. We can't. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but when we're showing you, we're trying to show you recipes that, yes, this is good. <laughs> so just a light coating of the oil, right? Because it'll just, it just helps it cook better, right? And then, uh, enough. yeah, that's good. Yep, yeah, just enough just to give it a little bit of a pumpkin swing. <laughs> so, okay, so now we got to put it in the oven for 400 for about uh, 35 to 40 minutes, right? That's the longest part. So, I mean, it is a bit of a pain, but it's going to be worth it. You have it all prepped and ready to go. Yeah, exactly. All this takes seconds yeah. to put the wrap together. Yeah, exactly, exactly. You'll see. All right, so we're going into the oven. Okay, we're back with uh, the tofu that's been marinating probably for about 20, 25 minutes. Yep. Meanwhile, the pumpkin is still cooking. Uh, so, this machine here is called an air fryer. It's called an active fryer. I love it. <laughs> my favorite toy. My favorite, yes. And it makes the best tofu in the world, doesn't it? She, she agrees. Mm -hmm. Because you can do this in your oven, right? But it's not going to make it as good as it is in here. So, this is a good investment. I actually got this. My mom and dad gave it to me, so because they were downsizing, so I actually was blessed and got this. So anyway, the active is kind of cool. It has a rotating thing on it, but for this recipe, you don't need this because you just want you're just gonna lay your this comes out like this, and we're just gonna lay the tofu inside there, and we're gonna just probably do it for about eight minutes and check on it and uh, see how it rolls. I don't even know if all this tofu will fit in there. So I'm just going to lay it in here flat because you want long strips to go in your your wrap. So 
might not be able to do this whole whole uh, block. Oh, and the shirt I'm wearing, it's called uh, um, Tofu Never Screams. And where did I get it from again, Dave? <clears throat> so we got it at the Guelph Veg Fest, and yeah. it was a vendor called Fair Square, yes. and they sell all like um, Canadian-made items, and they have a website, and yeah. So, so we'll they, have, they actually do the, the shirts, and yeah, or they get yeah. the shirts and from they do somewhere, those, and then they, they stamp do, them. And they're bamboo, so they're amazing. 75% so bamboo. Yeah, but that's good, right? We need to change our you know clothing to certain things. Okay, so I overlap it a little bit, but that's kind of what it looks like in there. And then we're just going to put it in here. And just press it down. It's so simple. And then just turn it on. There's a timer on here, but we'll just watch it for eight minutes. So here we go. Okay, so it's all ready. And what's really helped? The first time I made this, I did it with. I didn't use the oil because I wanted to try it without the oil. But this is this. The oil does make it a little better to cook. So it's just a matter of taking the pieces and just scooping out the the pumpkin. And you'll have lots of smashed pumpkin. Oh, so good. Roasted pumpkin is like so good. It's like roasted vegetables, like so good. Oh yeah, it's just falling off. That's how nice it is. So it actually took, with the oil, it took, um, I think 25 minutes. Okay, our pumpkin's all nice and ready. It's all, uh, then y'all mixed it all up, mashed. So um, today we're using the wraps. Can you grab the thing? We're actually using, you can use whatever wrap you want, but Everyone's freaking out about protein all the time, so check it out. Like if you're freaking out about protein, get these protein wraps. If you're, you know, they're 12 grams of protein. 12 grams, right? So with all this, you probably, we're probably, if I added it off, I'm gonna guess it's probably about 25 grams of protein per wrap. So if, if protein's your thing, there you go. Yeah, because okay. the tofu's got lots of protein. Yeah, and so does everything the does. Yeah, yeah, the hummus, yeah. Okay, so the first thing Danielle's going to do is we're going to spread some hummus on it. We just chose a plain hummus. You can do whatever you want. You can make your own hummus, which uh, we'll leave a link below. We have a, um, um, a video which we did our own pizza. hummus on. Yeah. Yeah, for the pizza, right? So it's really easy to make. It's so easy to make. But this is the lazy man way. We're doing lazy yep. today. So. And then we're going to throw... You want to put the, okay, the lettuce one? We're going to put the lettuce wrap. The lettuce? Yep. Oh, that's it's nice. Jonkin. Jonkin. <laughs> Giant. Yep. And the pumpkin. Now, we made the wraps the other day, and Danielle said she wanted more pumpkin on it, so we got lots of pumpkin this time, so. And roasted pumpkin is just... Yeah. Okay. And uh, and here's the, the tofu, by the way. <laughs> we got that out of the, the air fryer. It took about... 10 minutes and it's nice. It's crispy on the outside and a little bit spongy on the inside and it tastes, it's got the, the taste of like a chicken. Chick on. Chick on. Okay, well, you can put whatever toppings you want on it. We just, we're just keeping it really simple. So Danielle's gonna just put some red onions. And by the way, red onions are the best. If you're gonna buy onions, buy red ones because the red ones uh, are have higher antioxidants in them. Anything in nature that's, that has more color in it, get that. So here, this is the nice thing about these wraps too. You just roll them. That's it. So how nice is that? This is going to be a bigger. This is going to be a big wrap. <laughs> big wrap coming up. But they oh, roll so oh, nice. That. And we'll cut it in half. Yep. Voila. So there you go. There you go. How nice is that? So uh, cheers. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers to fall, <laughs> to fall, and guess what? Tofu never screams, and pumpkin is awesome. And you know, um, don't forget, links are down below. Watch our friends' videos. There's five of them, and they're all fall recipes, and they're amazing. Okay, mm -hmm. so have a great fall. You know what? We're gonna probably do our next uh, um, videos. We're gonna we're gonna do some soups for a little while, maybe three or four soups and then uh, oh yeah we have a special thing coming up too so we'll tell you about that next video you have to stay tuned